Welcome to FTL, guys. You've unlocked a new ship. Apparently, we'll unlock a new ship. We're playing. We're playing FTL on Christmas Christmas Day here, guys. The Taurus. Yeah, it doesn't have any any of our ships from our playthroughs because yeah. it's a it's a different computer, right? But we're playing FTL. It's 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 Christmas Day. It's it's Christmas roguelike day, guys. We play a bunch of roguelikes. The data you need, you carry is vital to the Federation. Very okay, you know, you know what's going on here. You you play a game. You, you jump from node to node. You get random encounters, um, and you have to deal with. Oh yeah, by the way, um, since since uh, I, I I introduced this game to you what like two months ago or so, and. You didn't quite get it, but now that you've watched a whole bunch of Star Trek, I think you'll probably enjoy it even more. You know? Because it's very similar. Go down to the surface to investigate the life form. You want to bring the man living in the cave. Do you want to bring him back? Oh, he dies. Oh, he died. Okay, well, that didn't do anything. FTL is not like Rogue, therefore it's not a Rogue like. I bet the person watching us on YouTube agrees with me. Dude, I really like FT. I don't know about you. Oh, the giant alien spiders one, you almost always fail. You've noticed that, eh? Unless you have, like, some extra option, you almost always fail the giant, giant alien spi spiders. Same. You're looking at all the jumps to make sure you get, like, a good path to the exit. Well, we are... Is FTL good? Um, it's slow, but it's really fun. The point of the game is that you have a crew and a ship, and you jump from from node to node in the in the, in the faster than light network, and you have to encounter enemy ships, and you you get you, get, you find shops and random events. I mean, now that we've played a few of these games, Naomi. You, you, I assume you're kind of starting to understand what a roguelike is, right? Yeah. It's brutally hard, yeah. meant to be played many many times, and has completely randomized content. That's basically what a roguelike is. YouTube streaming isn't dead, Odin, but YouTube gaming streaming's pretty much dead. Like YouTube streaming for podcasts or for discussions or D&D, &D, like with Sargon, when I go on Sargon's D&D, &D, that's not dead. People watch that all the time. Better than No Man's Sky? Yes, it is. It's already better than... No oh. It, this one, you, you have to knock out his engines first. Yeah. Okay, good. that's the yeah. engines there. <laughs> Naomi, don't listen to the gremlin whispering lies in your ears. These games are not like Rogue. It's... it's oh, God. Oh, your shields are down. There's someone... Send someone to go repair those shields, man. Don't worry about it. You're taking a lot of damage. Yeah, I that. Oh. Okay, hit, yeah, hit that again before it. Oh god, your oxygen's on, on fire. Oh no, this might be a, a. Yeah, YouTube has fucked gaming way too much for YouTube gaming to ever be a thing. Got a bunch of stuff. Nice. Eric and I played this game on the show a couple months ago because he really likes this game too. You get those guys all healed up. Get them, get them to the medical bay. I mean, Odin, I am currently streaming this stream in a different format to YouTube Gaming, but it doesn't have the couch. There's no couch, there's no tree. It's just us. It's just the game, sorry. So there's that. The distress. You can go to the distress and maybe get something. Yeah, if I had to choose like which giant internet company to trust, I would probably choose Amazon over Google or Facebook or Twitter. But even then, Amazon's not the greatest. Twitch own or Amazon's owned by Twitch. Or sorry, Twitch is owned by Amazon. Yeah. Quarantine level five in effect. Yeah. Huh. 
Yeah, as a quarant. If you have like, I think what somebody in your in your party, you can actually go to that planet and kind of save the save the planet. Oh, parts. Hey, Winter Sir. Oh, oh, that's, that's okay, though. Okay, okay, okay. I know how Eric... Uh, actually, no. no you can just... What you should do here, well, after, after you click this, is just open open the back door so that the air vents, instead of sending someone in to take damage to put, put out the fire. Just let, just let the air vent out. You would trust Amazon, not Twitch? Oh, does that mean you're gonna go out and buy an Amazon Echo? Berto Elka, you're gonna go buy that shit and just tell Amazon everything? I still wouldn't. If you can't set up your own streaming service, then you don't deserve to play your little video toys on the internet. Did you know that? Yep. Hmm. That's the only way to get to the exit, so. No, I know. That's all we can do, man. Services. Might as well fight him. You don't need any of that shit. Alright, let's go. I know how Eric plays is that he usually just hits only the weapons. So that... And I kind of agree with him, actually. Um, because you can generally... It, it, the, the, the fights take a bit longer, but you can keep the weapons knocked out. Did you watch... You've owned an Echo since pre-release? Well, all your fucking info is going straight to the FBI, Berto Elkon. Like, if, if you ever banged a girl in the room that the, that the Echo exists in, they're listening to that shit and fapping over it. Did you watch Rage of Hulk? I didn't watch Rage of Hulk's thing about the monetization. I'm gonna do a video on monetization soon, actually, because I've been doing tests on YouTube's monetization. And I, I think I kind of know how that limited state works. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some tests with it. But I, I've done some tests with it, sorry. I think I can make a video about it. I need to hire another crew, I can take that. You have Mantis? Maybe weapon pre-igniter, repair arm. Repair arm is not good at all. It's, it's not really that worth it. Not in a long fight, though. It's no. not really... Um, yeah. Take him. Take him? Maybe, take, maybe fix all as well? Yeah, fix it up. Yeah. Um, one thing I've noticed, though, Naomi, is that if you let, generally, if if you allow ships to, um, to surrender, they, uh, they give less scrap, but they give more fuel than if you blow them up. Presumably because you blow up the fuel when you fight them. Yeah. Yeah. All right, keep going. You. What's here? Oh, he just gave you a halberd beam. It's actually a really good weapon. Costs three to use though. So yeah, yeah, so you can't you can't use the burst laser or the Artemis if you use that. But it is a good weapon. It, it's basically good. It's pretty much like the best weapon for the first half of the game. Yeah, in my well, opinion. Can't use it because I can't really afford to use it. Yeah, because you got to put scrap and uh, upgrading your power and upgrading. Well, no, you, you could just turn off the burst laser and the Artemis and just turn on the halberd. You really think that's a good idea? Well, if, if you know how to use it. I don't. Want me to show you? Yeah. Okay. Next sector. Mm. Nebulas. To tread lightly, okay. Love how at first we're not in a nebula, though. Yeah, you, you, oh, there's a store there, too. Maybe jump around a bit, try to get some more scrap, or not. I'm just gonna go to the store first. But, but you have no. To see what they have, then I can come back if I have to. But coming back, you just waste more fuel. <laughs> I'm not gonna worry about it. Crew teleporter cloaking. Like the crew teleporter is good if you're gonna run that kind of build. Oh, 
Well, I guess you're not buying anything else at this store. Nope. <laughs> There's a distress. Does it go anywhere else from there? Yeah, it does. Okay. You can, you can safely go there. You're gonna board the ship. You got a guy! Where are we gonna send you? We're gonna send you to... Cameras, maybe? Yeah, because then you can get, like, advanced... Advanced info on the, on the enemy ships. Yeah. If he's working the cameras. Yeah, you can't double back too much in this game. Shoot the refugee! Well, there's another store. Yeah, see, that's why before, whenever I find a store, if I don't have any scrap, I jump around a bit first to gain more scrap, then I go to the store. Just in case, because like you can, it, it, it really weighs to go back. Nothing's here to get scrap in anyway. Oh well. Have you learned nothing from the refugee crisis? Odin, aliens are friendly. You want to try to fight them? Oh. Now the, the enemy fleet is doubled next turn. Fun times. See, yeah, the, the store's gone. Like, see, it's just gone. Holy shit. Yeah, you better get going. <laughs> oh, no, Naomi. <laughs> Don't worry about it. See, I know you like roguelikes, but you always seem to, one, get really bad luck, and two, make really bad decisions. <laughs> yeah, he's got some Zoltan shields. <laughs> Why doors? Oh yeah, that's right, they don't. Doesn't matter if he's friendly. Shoot on sight just to be sure. Oh. Make sure the aliens... Because aliens are... They, they, they pretend they're friendly and then boom, they're trying to eat you and impregnate you. In that order, apparently. She's getting bad luck. She got a halberd beam. She's making bad decisions. <laughs> you don't know how to use a halberd beam, that's right. We don't have narrators a deck schedule for today, no Torbar. It's okay. Can I keep going? Nice. Imagine being a pregnant zombie. I came so hard, I zombified. <laughs> I still love that. That's a great porn title, by the way. I came so hard, I zombified. Yeah, none of those nodes get to the exit, so you gotta stay in the lower half of the screen. Uh-oh. Oh god, you're, you're missing, like, everything. There's no shields. And they have a drone. You're so lucky not getting... Just... Just... Take out the drones. Okay, there you go. You got his shields back, though. So, uh, I know I haven't played any games yet today, but... Once... Once you die at this run, because I don't think you're beating the final boss with this run... Can I give it a go? Alright. Trying to escape. Nice, there you go. All right. Yeah, you were stuck in attack mode there. I actually really like Nebulas. Um, I've just I've just learned to play in them, frankly. Oh, while you're here, turn on all your stuff again. If you don't say yes, you will start needing more porn titties or titles. I mean, either way, I'm... <laughs> Yummy, what's your blood type? Why? Probably because you're not saying anything. Ow, 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 ow. 
Merry Christmas, guys. Oh. Nice, you got another guy. Yeah, put him in the cameras, I guess. Type D. Type Devo. I think North is the the doors guy. Yep. Yep. Asking for a friend. What the fuck? <laughs> Eric. Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Type dev. What? <laughs> okay, let's go. Next jump. You gotta tell me specifically why you're asking. I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> Here comes Mrs. Claus. <laughs> Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus. What the fuck is Santa Claus Land, by the way? Do your friend happen to be a vampire who likes sucking the blood of young women? That sounds like it could be the case. PM me it later. I guess you're gonna PM Eric your blood type later. Eric, why? <laughs> <laughs> Die. Nice. There you go. Goodbye. Goodbye. You could repair some damage. That's actually a good price. Yeah. Generally, those guys are better repair prices than the stores, mm -hmm. which is why it's always good to utilize them. Okay. I have to up this. So you can use the weapon? Up this. Okay. Put one more in there. You can't. Oh, right. <laughs> it takes three, the halberd beam. Don't oh, worry God. About Don't worry about it. Um, I'll put that there then, I guess. You can use the halberd beam in the Artemis? Yeah. Okay. Do you know how beam weapons work in this game? You can't use them through the shield. Yes, you can. No, you A, a, a oh, halberd you... beam deals two damage, so it will deal one damage through a level one shield. Yeah. Yeah. Want to play this game again? Yeah. Well, after Eric and I did it on the show a few months ago, I got into a, I got into a kick of it again. Hmm. Anything else? Nope. Upgrade my shields. But I still need another one of those. Yep. I think I'll have a spare one and leave it at that. Okay. What's Mech Warrior Online? <laughs> More nebulas, apparently. Yep. It's a fun time. I'm getting hungry. How about you? What time is it? Kind of. It's, it's 12.40. Man, the day's kind of flying by. Merry Christmas, guys. Christmas. Wow. Away you go. We're running out of fuel. Mm-hmm. I hope we find some soon. Probably not. You might get to a, a shop. Okay, go to that one. Maximize chance of shop. Yeah, just, yeah. So it deals more damage if you hit more rooms. Yeah. Yeah. So generally with, with a beam that size, you can probably hit like three rooms and deal six damage in total. But you only hit two rooms there. See, that's still only two rooms. You can only hit two rooms. You can hit three rooms. You just like angle it to cut through the, all three, you see? Like, like right there, yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go, you did it. You got no fuel. 
Nope. Let's see. Oh god, there's no chance of anything. <laughs> well, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna hop over here. And hope you get at least one jump away from a... Yeah. Okay, hold on. Next episode, we're, j we're just lost in fucking space, guys.